takes away Jeff Stoney oh, 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 around the bend. Oh, Simon Overshaw oh, there, oh, oh, to the bend. Oh, Jeff Stoney oh, touching oh, David Silver. 80 meters to go, Jeff Stoney, David Silver, Peter Jersey, Simon Robertshaw. It's Milner, Milner, Willer and Sunderland. Stoney, Silver, Robertshaw and Jersey. John Milner doth by these presents freely and clearly give, grant, bargain, sell, and confirm all the lands and hereditaments whatsoever in Greenhill, commonly called Thornacre, Middleclose, and Narclose, to his heirs to have and to hold to them and to their heirs in confidence and trust, that the rents, issues, and profits thereof shall be employed for the maintenance of a schoolmaster teaching grammar within the said town of Bingley forever. Gate camping. Jetzt ist die Familie Schaudi in den Ferien. Hans ist hungrig. Was fragt er? Was essen wir heute Abend, Mutter? Gut. Ähm, wie heißt der See, Nigel? Der See heißt der Wagenfeld. Und Philipp, wie heißt der Campingplatz? Der Campingplatz heißt Camping nur. Wo ist denn jetzt die Familie Schaudi? Die Familie Schaudi ist jetzt in der und äh, Juliet, was sagt der Esso-Tiger? <lacht> Given in this 20th year of the reign of King Henry VIII, Sovereign King of England, by my hand. John Milner. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, Thomas. And a fine day it is in truth. Not a cloud in sight, and the sun is pleasantly warming. Doubtless your hay is growing well in such fine weather. Aye, sir. The crops are doing favourably, and we'll soon be ready if it doesn't turn to rain. But I fear we shall not have enough to keep us through the winter. I promise you, sir, I'll pay the rent for the first of the hay crop. 
do not trouble yourself about the matter of the rent, Thomas. I'm willing to wait until you fall upon better times. But what is this you say about the winter? You will not have enough food? Oh, well, my sir. It's not easy, though, with the children around all the while. They've got nothing to do. And they're too young to work. Come here, lad. Do you know what this is, lad? It's the Bible, sir. And what do you know of the Bible? Nothing, sir. I cannot read. Nobody's ever told me anything of it. But when did you last go to church? I've never been to church, sir. Ah, well, I'll call upon you later, Thomas. Do not trouble yourself about the rent. It will wait. Thank you. Good day, sir. <laughs> good wife to name but one. How is she now? Still very sorrowful. She's not short of money now. No, no, Richard was an organized man and he made sure she would not want for anything after his death. I've been thinking about the tragedy of his death on the way home. Richard was several years younger than I when he met his untimely end. What if I were to die unexpectedly? I have not yet made my will. Please do talk of such things, John. I have given the matter much thought. I shall go and see Master Baines at straightway. And so, I have decided that some of my wealth should be put to providing for the poor of this town. I saw Thomas on my way must be instructed in Latin and Greek if they are to be learned. I should bequeath some of my property in trust for providing a learning Thank you. 
doing, mister? The public meeting. A meeting about the school. Your school. Local people aren't really happy about the way governors are running things. So we're having a public meeting. Hey, why aren't you at school today anyway? Thank you. 
You may go now. You may go too. Times have changed, Busfield, when we ferns must address a rabble such as this. Aye, oh, ferns. Times have changed. to hear such resolutions concerning the school as the parishioners of Bingley may care to put forward. The governors and the master of the school are quite conscious of having more than fulfilled their duty and are quite willing to court any inquiry. I'll tell you However, that. we will not tolerate any frivolous or vexatious complaints. Mm. Just so, just so. May it please you, gentlemen. I wish to lay before you the views of Bingley parishioners who wish the school to be returned to its proper and original basis. Yeah. That is the free education of the children of this parish. We consider the Reverend Dr. Hartley to be unfit to continue as master in consequence of his teaching an extensive classical academy of fee-paying scholars and in consequence of his improper behaviour towards the free scholars. For all these reasons, he is to be considered unfit to serve the office of schoolmaster to the charity, and on that account the governors are called upon forthwith to discharge Dr. Hartley. Yeah. Yeah. The Reverend Dr. Hartley considers Latin and Greek to be the only fit subjects for the school, whereas we men of business and affairs know only too well the importance of such practical subjects as arithmetic, writing and languages yeah. in the busy commercial world of today. We desire to see girls too admitted to the privileges of education. In short, we contend that the foundation of the grammar school at Bingley be devoted to the purposes of its original founders, Milner, Wooler, Oldfield and Sunderland, the education of Bingley children in useful knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. These uh, gentlemen are thoroughly mistaken. The basis upon which Bingley Grammar School was founded was the teaching of grammar. And that means Latin and Greek. It's obvious to anybody who can think. And moreover, the idea of admitting girls is absurd. <laughs> <laughs> the learned languages have never been a female pursuit. However, I thank you. We have been much entertained by this extravagant idea. However, I must own myself perturbed by this charge of improper conduct towards the free scholarship holders. I'll tell you what we mean. That makes poor village children that wear clogs sit in bare feet and there's no money for shoes. That teaches not but boarders. I was never once examined that master when I was at the school. I left that school without any knowledge at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is naivety indeed. Do you suppose, sir, that your ignorance is proof of the inadequacy of the school? Don't you rather think that it shows off your own poor talents? <laughs> 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 Enough of this, this 
unending battle. These so-called gentlemen wish to subvert our ancient establishment and replace it with an academy for dissenters, non-conformists and worse. The Church of England is, thank God, built upon a rock. We are among a nest of ill-bred vipers here, sir. But the higher class of your parishioners are among the best of men. do that kind of thing. I'm starved. Oh my. I'll have some bread then. Here. Thank you. What did you want to come here for? I was studying, come educated. Words of those three were not so distinctly, so we'll try that one out.
Are you going to tell all those students now? Yeah. What about this one? What can get a lot of Box would you expect to be found at this part here at A and along the surface at E? Um, the uh, I'd say it could be granite or gabbro. Good. And uh, I'd say probably basalt. Good, yes. Well, what rocks will be found in the fields in a day? Well, along here and here, we would expect to find rocks of an intermediate nature between the gabbro and the basalt. It cools very, very quickly indeed, and indeed in some cases it's crystallized in an instant geologically, and we have what is called a volcanic glass. Bye. Uh -huh.